Morning, Ellen. I believe you're going to give us an update on some of the work you've been doing. Yes. Um, last time I did a vlog, um, I had just begun treatment on this beautiful lead toy, um, and now I've actually finished it, and I've updated the housing for the object, um, and now you can see all the beautiful features. One thing I wanted to point out before we take a closer look at the object um, is that we actually take a number of samples of everything that we remove from each object, and that includes the soil from the cells, and it also includes things like corrosion products, um, possible organic materials, um, and if we do happen to find any tiny garnet fragments in the soil. Um, so all of those things are saved, and I've constructed this little housing so they don't rattle around. So just as an example, this is the soil from the bottom and the left cloisonne cells in the object. Okay, so can you just turn that round for us so we can just see the soil moving in there? Okay, so that's an example of all the soil that you've, you've kept, yeah. Yes. Okay, and you were saying other things that you, you might have kept are just small fragments... Uh, t any tiny fragments that I discover that are unusual or notable in any way. So, for example, this is um, sort of a, a green-black lump. It was um, a compressed possible corrosion product that I found in one of the cells. Okay. This is an interesting feature that I thought I would point out. Um, this is one thing that I found through excavating the, one of the central cells here, um, and that's a remaining rivet. Um, there are actually several rivet holes present, and you can see those on the back of the object. Um, but this is the only rivet that we found between this lentoid and the previous lentoid that was cleaned. And then you can see that the rivet is resting on top of a small silver divider, um, and that's something that's a feature that's also present on the previous lentoid. And am I right in thinking you were telling me at the other side you can actually see the holes where these pins may have been? You can. So if I pan over the central gold foil. You can see that there are two large rivet holes present on this side as well, and one small rivet hole sort of tucked in the corner. Looks like maybe they made a mistake. <laughs> So what are we looking at here, Ellen? So you can see here um, the cleaned garnets, and some of them are quite lovely, and you can still see the interplay of light with the backing foils showing through. Um, and I'm presently working on writing up a little blog for the website about this treatment so that you can see the before and after images.